Hey everybody, it's 6.5 day 2 similarity word problems. Let's get started. Alright, since this is not new and we did uh, similarity word problems yesterday, I'm going to give you an opportunity to practice and review the skills that you learned yesterday and answer the following questions in practice. So if you can please do 1 and 2 and when you're ready, please unpause the video. Please answer 1 and 2, and when you're ready, please unpause the video. Alright, welcome back. Alright, a tree cast a 20-foot shadow and came at the same time that a yardstick cast a, th uh, a shadow, a 2-foot shadow. Find the height of the tree. So what we have here is... Kind of the same that we worked on uh, yesterday. We have height over shadow equals height over shadow. So 2 times x is 2x. Uh, 3 times 24 is 72. Divide by 2 and x will equal 36. Awesome job, you guys. A brush is sighted on the other side of a can canyon. Find the width of the canyon. All right, again, we're going to set it up. So we have um, the one side over 100 equals 10. Oh, sorry, 7.5, because 7.5 corresponds with um, X. And then 10, because remember we have to have similar parts across from each other. Cross product, we're going to get 10x equals uh, 750. Divide by 10, and x will equal 75. Awesome job, you guys. Keep it up. All right, I'm going to give you guys 3 and 4. 3 and 4. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. 3 and 4. Welcome back, you guys. Let's see how you did. A 12-centimeter rod is held between the flashlight and the wall shown. So this is 12, this rod right here. Find the length of the shadow on the wall if the rod is 45 meters from the wall and 15 meters from the light. So 45, and I'm going to do kind of different colors. 45 is from here to here. And 15 is from here to here. Okay. I don't. I hope that you recall that we've done this multiple times. We have a small triangle. So we have, and we want to know the length of the shadow. And I'm going to put X. So what we have is 15 over 12. The rod and the light to the rod. So that's one triangle. Then we have this bigger triangle. We have our shadow which corresponds with our 12. And then we have this whole length here, which we need to combine the 15 plus the 45, which will give us 60. We cross product, and we're going to get 15x equals 720. We divide by 15, and x will equal 48. Awesome job, you guys. Let's keep it up. A cheerleader at a city high made their megaphones by cutting off the small ends of a cone and made a from heavy paper. If the small end of the megaphone is to have a radius of 2.5, what should be the height of the cone that is cut off? All right, so what we're looking at is the height of this cone right here. So I'm going to put an X. All right, so what I'm going to do is we only have, I'm going to change colors for a second. We only have the radius. So I want to see this as two separate triangles. We have the small triangle here, and we want to find the height of that cone. But I only have the radius. 
So what I'm going to do is take 2.5 plus 2.5 to get my diameter. And my diameter is 5, all right, which is the full length. So I'm going to do x over 5, the height of my cone over my diameter equals the height of my larger cone, 60, over my diameter, which is 56. I cross product, so I'm going to get 56x. 60 times 5 is 300. I divide 56 into 300, and x will equal 5.4. Awesome job, you guys. Ooh, that was a very bad. Ooh, and I'm still doing a horrible job. 5.4. Um, still, keep it up. You're doing awesome. All right, so I'm going to move on to 5 and 6. If you can please answer 5 and 6. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back, you guys. Let's see how great you did. All right, let's start here. What we're looking at is two triangles. One, and then we have our second one. Okay, so we have one triangle in front of the other. And we're going to put an X to represent that missing piece, that river, okay? So we're going to start with our small triangle right here okay so we have eight which is our side piece and then we have our length so that's x plus seven plus eight which will give me x plus fifteen now that gives me my small triangle so i'm going to kind of now we need to look at our big triangle so our big triangle we have our side right here, which is 15. And then let's do our other leg, 28 plus 7 plus x plus 8. So 28 plus 8 plus 7 will give me x plus 43. I cross product. I'm going to 8 times x plus 43 equals 15 times whoop, 15 plus x. I distribute and I'm going to kind of scoot myself over. I'm going to actually take a second. I'm, I'm, I'm losing space so let me uh, take a moment. I'm going to pause and rewrite it. Okay, now that I've rewritten it, now I can kind of uh, do better. 8 times x is 8x. 43 times x is 344. Equals 15x plus 15 times 15 is 25. I'm going to subtract my 8 to both sides, so I'm going to get um, 344 equals 7x plus 225. Subtract 225 to both sides, so I'm going to get 7x equals 119. I divide by 7, and x will equal 17. Oops, and it does not seem to want to let me write 17. There we go. A foot of a ladder is 1.2 meters from a fence. That is 1.8 meters high. The ladder touches the fence and rests against the building. That is 1.8 behind the fence, meters behind the fence. Draw a diagram to determine the height on the building that will reach the top of the ladder. So what we have here is we have our ladder, okay? So a foot of the ladder is 1.2. So we got 1.2 right here, meters. 
from a fence. So this I'll make up the fence blue that is 1.8 meters high. Okay, so that's our fence. The ladder touches the fence and rests against the building. So I'm going to still continue this magical. This is our ladder. Okay. It's resting on a on a fence. That's our blue. Okay. But and against a building that is 1.8 meters behind the fence. So I'm going to write this in purple. So from here to here, it's 1.8. Determine the height of our fence. So we're going to put X here. So if we kind of see we have a triangle inside of a triangle. So we have one triangle that is 1.2 over 1.8. And then we have another triangle that is our bigger triangle. I'll kind of put that in red that is x and then we're going to be adding 1.2 plus 1.8 to get that full length which is 3. Now we can kind of match up our parts. So 1.8 over 1.2 equals x over 3. We cross product 1.8 times 3 is 5.4 equals 1.2x. We divide by 1.2 and x will equal 4.5. Awesome job, you guys. Keep it up. All right, we're going to move on to 7 and 8 on our sheets, 7 and 8. And if you could take a moment, answer 7 and 8, and when you are ready, please unpause the video. Please unpause the video. All right, welcome back. Let's see how great you did. Raymond places a mirror on the ground that's 45 feet from the base of the gesture. He walks backwards until he can see the top of the gesture in the middle of the mirror. At this point, Raymond's, Raymond's eyes are six feet above the ground and he is 7.5 feet from the mirror. Use similar triangles and find the height of the geyser. Geyser gesture, geyser, goodness gracious. All right. So, again, we have our proportion kind of set up for us. So, 6 over 7.5, so that is Raymond. And then we have our geyser, x over 45. We cross product. 6 times 45 is 270, equals 7.5x. We divide by 7.5, and x will equal 36. All right. Find the height of the giraffe in the diagram. All right, so we have 15 here, 15. We have our height, x, and we have 5 feet and 3 inches. And remember that 3 goes into 12 quite nicely. So we can do 3 divided by 12, which will become 0.25 as a, fra as a decimal. So I'm going to change this to 5.25 over 5 equals x over 15. We cross product, we get 5x equals 5 times, 5.25 times 15 is 78.75. We divide by 5 and we get x equals 5.75. When we multiply 0 0.75 by 12, we'll get 9. Oops, I'm going to kind of move that over. So 0 0.75 times 12 equals 9. So really we're looking at 15 feet 9 inches. Alright guys, awesome, awesome job. Keep it up. Alright, moving on. We're going to practice our uh, next two. 9 and uh, our practice problem Tanya. 9 and our practice problem Tanya. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you have answered 9 and Tanya, uh, the poor problem, uh, please unpause the video and check your answers.
will go back on a ground level. The base of a tree is 20 feet from the bottom of a 48 foot pole. The tree is shorter than the pole, and at a certain time the shadow extends 60 feet from the base of the flagpole. How tall is the tree? All right, looking at our example here, what we have here is we have our flagpole. So from the base of the tree is 20 feet. All right, so this is from the base of the tree from the bottom of the 48 foot flagpole. So this is 20 and this would be 48. It says the tree is shorter than the pole at a certain time the shadow extends 60 feet from the base of the tree to the flagpole. So flagpole to the base of the tree is 60. So we would subtract that from 20 to get 40. We want to know how tall the tree is, so this would be x. So what we are looking at doing is we're seeing this as two things, our flagpole, which will be the red. So that's going to be 48, the height, over the shadow, which is 60, equals, and then our tree would be blue. We do not know the height, x, over 40, our shadow. We cross product, 48 times 40 is 1920, oops, 20, equals 60x. We divide by 60, and x will equal 32. Tanya is 1.3 meters tall. She stands 7 meters in front of a tree and casts a 1.8 meter foot long shadow. How tall is the tree? So we're going to kind of have a same kind of deal. Alright, so here we have our tree. I'm going to kind of boop, 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 boop. Here's our tree, and here's Tanya. Boop, 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 boop. She's 1.3 meters tall, 1.3 and she's standing seven meters in front of the tree. So from here to here is seven meters. And cast a shadow that is 1.8. So here's our shadow, 1.8. How tall is the tree? All right, so now we gotta see this as two separate triangles. We have our triangle here, which is Tanya. So Tanya is 1.3 over 1.8. So height over shadow equals. We do not know how tall the tree is. Okay? We, we do know the shadow of our tree, which we'll put in purple, is the distance from Tanya to the tree plus her shadow, which is 8.8. .8. I cross product I'm going to get 1.8x. 1.3 times 8.8 .8 is 11.44. I divide 1.8 into 11.44, and I get x equals 6.36. Awesome job, you guys. Let's do another two, Stephanie and a statue. If you can please do these two, Stephanie and a statue. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. If you can please answer these next two questions, Stephanie and a statue. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, we'll go back. Stephanie casts a shadow that's 1.2 meters, and she is 1.8 meters tall. A turn boy casts a shadow of 10 meters. At the same time, Stephanie measured her shadow. Draw a diagram of the situation and calculate the wind turbine. All right, so we have Stephanie. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, she is 1.8. She casts a shadow of 1.2. Our wind turbine casts a shadow of 10, and we need to find the height. So we're going to do cross product. So 1.8 over 1.2 equals 
x over 10. We cross product, we get 1.2x, 1 1.8 times 10 is 18. We divide 1.2 by 18 and we will get 15. A statue honoring Ray can be found at the uh, Crescent East near the University Bridge in Scanton, Scant, 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 Use the information to determine the unknown height of the statue. So we're going to use our diagram here. Here's our statue and its shadow. So one point, our person is 1.8 meters with a 2.4 shadow equals x over 4. Cross product, 1.8 times 4 is 7.2 equals 2.4x. Divide by 2.4 into 7.2 and x will equal 3. Alright guys, last problem. If you can please answer a girl. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. Please answer this question and when you're ready, please check your answer and unpause the video. A girl, 160 centimeters tall, is standing at 360 from a lamppost at night. Her shadow from the light is 90 centimeters long. How tall is the lamppost? Okay, so we have a girl. She's 160 centimeters tall. And and is 360 centimeters from the lamppost. So here's our lamppost. Put a little circle and boop, boop, light. There we go. Not very good. All right, so that's 360. Her shadow from the light is 90 centimeters long. So this is 90. How high is the lamppost? So we're going to put X. So, as we recall, this is kind of like two triangles in one. So, we'll have our small triangle, I'm going to do in green. So, we have the girl, which is 160 over 90, equals, okay, our lamppost, x. Now, our lamppost, remember, is a combination of both 360 plus 90. That would be... Um, from the combination of both, of her distance plus her shadow. We would add that together to get 450. We cross product. We're going to get 450 times 160 is 72,000 equals 90x. We divide by 90 and x will equal 800. All right, guys, this is the end of today's video. Um, if you have any questions and concerns, please email me. Um, you do have an assignment online. Please answer on the, all the questions and submit on time. Remember, these videos you can watch as many times as you need. Watch, review, and, um, and uh, learn them um, as many times as you need them. Um, stay safe and have a good day. Alright guys, bye-bye.